There's some dinar guru updates starting off with Bob the Taxman. Here's the thing about the CRUT charitable remainder unit trust. It can provide you a lifetime of income and it defers the income. Remember when you exchange your IQD under the umbrella of the CRUT, it's a non-taxable event. It's a tax-free environment. So picture this, you've got the paperwork, you've got the EIN, the federal number, you go to the bank, they open up the bank account in the name of CRUT, you give them your IQD and they exchange it, but instead of going into your hands, it went directly into the CRUT, so it's a tax-free environment. And you were not exposed through a taxable event. A note to consult your tax professionals at the appropriate time to determine the best tax strategy and opportunities for your unique circumstances. And Breitling had a question. You still see them coming in at least 50 cents. Breitling says upper 50 cents to 60 cents around there. Another question, do you feel they have the possibility to hit a dollar? Breitling says, yeah, they can get a dollar 25, no problem. Possibility of an RV at 250 for the IQD. Uh, no, not even close. It will be below a buck. Can it go higher than that? Yes, but they want a ceiling where it can grow $2.50. That's a completely different plan. That would start after they add value to the currency. And that's way on down the road if that was to happen. Native from the Mideast says we cannot change the rate that quick because we're worried about the economy to crash. If oil goes down, we'll have to take it easy. I'm not telling you that rate is not going to change. The rate is going to change before February. I give you the news is good news. The plan is before February, we have to make sure everything is solid, everything is standing on two legs, and everything is running correctly before we change the rate. Every day we have good news coming up. Right, Vital Brad is saying Iraq as a whole is preparing for its international status and they're ready. The requirements have been met. It's time for them to move forward. It's just a matter of when is it going to happen, when will it revalue. No one knows the answer to that until I see it. I'm not going to believe it. Eventually, it's going to happen. Pimpy says, I think we're way closer to having the real rate of the Iraqi dinar come out than we've ever been before. I don't know what the rate is, and I have no idea when it's going to happen, and anybody that tells you different is full of crap. Nobody knows the rate. Nobody knows the date. Nobody except for those in the need to know, and you and I aren't them. It's exciting to see. Yes, it makes me happy. It certainly looks like they're trying to line themselves up with some type of plan to be reinstated. Frank 26, article, quote, the central bank signs a memorandum of understanding with the Emirates Bank, unquote. They're signing with every bank in the world. Why? Because the Iraqi currency is about to go international, United Arab Emirates is just one of many countries that are so excited to be working with the Central Bank of Iraq because they know their Article 8. Wolverine saying the Redemption Center personnel are in their position since Thursday, December 16, 2021. All are fully staffed and are getting fully trained with administrative knowledge. Wales and Reno have been told not to move. We are nearly close to the finish line. This baby is about to land. Militiaman article quote saw less. Uh, the central bank has a comfortable reserve that helps it impose stability in exchange rates. The monetary policy of the central bank of Iraq has today a strong foreign reserve tool that can maintain the purchasing power of the Iraqi dinar and face inflationary expectations with a high capacity due to the surplus in the current account of the balance of payments, unquote. What Salih's telling them, us, them, is that they have enough hard currency and foreign currencies to support and defend their exchange rate through open market operations with ease and flexibility. The keyword is open, meaning global markets, in my opinion. Lastly, from Native from the Mideast, there's three things to have before the revalue. Number one, the occupation has to leave. The United States, France, England, all the armies, Russia, everybody has to leave. I think they're going to leave this week. Number two, we have to get out of Chapter 7. We have to. Number three, we have to buy more gold, more dollars. I think if we reach the $100 billion uh, dollar mark, our money will come back very strong. That's what we're waiting for. I think by next month or so, we will reach it. 